By the way, Seema is celebrating her birthday today. Uh, I forget, it's 27 today, Seema? <laughs> 85 years, 50 years raw vegan. Yeah. 50 years raw yeah. vegan. And one of the things that keeps her young, we've learned, is tending to this entire paradise. She's got more than 100 varieties of fruits and nuts here. She sleeps in the tree. Not really. <laughs> um, and But she manages all of this herself. It's a spectacular paradise. It's a jungle with tons of different fruits. Hello, that's Lauren Lachman coming to you from Caesarea, Israel. Can't see you yet. And I am at the home of my lovely friend Seema, who is celebrating her 80, 85th birthday today. And what's exciting, Seema, how many years, let me turn to you. Um, there's Seema. Seema, how many years have you been at Ravi? Oh, God. No, I think it's about 50, Seema. 50, 50. About 50 years raw vegan. Yeah, but it, that's came, it came gradually. It did, it did come so... That's okay. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. First I stopped to eat all kind of meat. Right. And then I started to eat organic food. Right. And then I decided the best thing is to make myself a garden. Right. My small paradise. Now, is this... Have you been here all that time? No. No. But uh, it came gradually. How long have you been in this little paradise? Uh, about 40 years. 40, 40 years here. 50 already. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay. So, and today we're going to get a little chance to see what you've done here. And I did everything myself. I don't have any gardener. Right. And uh, from the beginning, and now you can see that it is... Uh, it's a bit of a jungle. <laughs> exactly. It's a, lot of, it's a lot of work, I know. Yeah. Yeah, you work. know. So he, I see we, we passed a longan right here, no, the longan is, uh, which looks like it's not so happy. It doesn't want to be a, a dry, but it starts. You I know, see, so. I see. Yeah, there's some new growth. Yeah, I see that some new I growth. I saw it now, but uh, it might it might be smart to, to prune is, some of the stuff that's not so good. Is, uh, very much, uh, this is taking a lot from it. This yeah. This, this thing right. Here, but this right. has got sent special sentimental value for Sina, so she's not moving. It. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? I gave Seema a, a stone like of a, a, of a um, it's the rose apple. It's a rose apple. I gave her okay. a seed. Yeah. And that's it. So, so there far. we have it. We have we have a beautiful rose <laughs> apple tree, which which is about uh, fifteen yeah, inches tall. Yeah, I don't all these things because I see that he's happy, so I leave it for him. Yeah. Belladonna. Now th this this looks Belladonna. like it's an Anona family. 
No. No? What is know. this? I don't know the family, but this is a Sapodilla. A Sapodilla, okay. A Sapodilla. So Sapote family. Yeah. Oh, Sapote. We, this is, it gave you a lot of fruit, didn't it, Seema, this time? Mm -hmm. It gave you, gave you a lot of fruit in the summer. Yes. yes. There's a little tiny. Yes, and I decided to listen to you, Debbie, and really to make it a little bit shorter. Right. It will have less sun. Right. But then I can put a net over it. Right. And it'll be a lot right. easier to harvest the fruit. Right. Yeah. And, and by the way, there's Debbie. Debbie, Debbie wanted to be famous too. Nice. There's Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> My friend Debbie, who's housing me while I'm here in Israel. Thank you, Debbie. You enjoy yourself here? Very much so. I get, I'm doing one of the, my favorite things to do, which is sharing this information. I love it. This is the best thing in the world to be done today. Yeah. Okay? It's, it's, I know. I understand it. Yeah. If everybody would be raw, the world wouldn't end. We'd have a lot fewer problems. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Less yeah. problems. A lot, of, a lot of people would be a lot healthier, a lot happier, right? And less, so, it, and, it's, and I've had, you know, it's, it's great because I get a wonderful reception here. Yeah, it's We've really, done a lot of events. Yeah, people have been very... Yeah, there are intelligent people here, more or less. Yeah. I understand. Is, that uh, looks like a mulberry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This beautiful. This is a Pakistani berry, right? Pakistani, Pakistani berry. Ah, it? Pakistani berry. And for those of you that don't know Pakistani berry, it's, this is in the mulberry family, so it, it, but they're big, very, long berries. They're very long. Right, very long. And they're delicious. Yes. Delicious. Are they the white ones or the black ones? The black ones. The black ones. The black ones. Okay. Debbie has also white ones. I know. I know. I've had them. Mm -hmm. And I see I see a couple little... There's one baby fig there. Is that a fig as well? Ah, oh, she, she came here by herself. Yeah. I didn't put her in. Uh, it looks like there's three of them in there. Yeah, the I figs. just came up there? Yes, Come alone. On. So, because the birds were eating somewhere. Right, around there, right. Uh, they dropped their and, seeds. Uh, this is the way I make my garden. Everything <laughs> will do what he wants. So the birds do all the work for you. <laughs> also the Very birds. Clever. Not only the birds, also the birds. Ah, oh, look at that. It's enormous. And I see your, your neighbor. Okay. I see your neighbor is offering you one mandarin up there. <laughs> no. No, the truth is that I have too much fruit. I cannot eat all the fruit. I no, have. of course. I have to share. This looks like a macadamia. Is this a macadamia? Exactly, yeah. Macadamia. There's a macadamia right there. Yeah. Also looks very happy. You know, so this we bought together in Hodor Ah, and it's never done anything. I wanted to know. It, it, it looks like it may doesn't, doesn't get very much sun. It, uh, not only sun. I had here many figs and they have probably a problem in the ground and they don't do it. None well. of the figs are happy there. They don't, I'm not yeah. happy. And uh, you know, this is the black ones, the big ones. Mm. Mm. But, uh, Did they ever give you anything? One. <laughs> <laughs> no, but maybe uh, that's it. It's a one fig tree. <laughs> yeah, but time uh, to move on. Yeah, some people tell I don't care anymore. We'll give okay, no. Okay. Same as macadamias are amazing. Yeah. Delicious. Now if you've never seen a macadamia growing on the tree, here we have some right here. You have in Costa Rica macadamia. We do. We 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 have uh, we have a couple macadamia trees on my property, but they're they're very young. No fruit. No no uh, no oh, nuts yet for a while. Long. Yeah, it'll be a while. And this is the Nona Cherimoya. Right. Wow. Look at that. Beautiful. What a beauty. Wow. Fantastic. That looks like you could pick it, no, Seema? The car from the color. It does. No. 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 I check it once a day right. if one is falling. Then he's asking me to eat it. Right. Yes, <laughs> right. This is a big tray. Wow. You think it's big? I think it's big. Well, well they don't. They don't I get so big. I'm sure they're little also because the Anona likes very much to be trimmed. Yeah. All these uh, shots will be. Okay. And here's the papaya. No fruit no. right now. Papaya. I had one time a jungle, but not anymore. This looks like a grape. Right. Yeah. Do you get yeah. grapes from here? Yes. Very. Plenty, very small, sweet without. Uh, mm. Are these the little dark purple ones, the blue ones? This? Yeah. No, white. These are white grapes, okay. White and very sweet. Mm. And like small and without uh, kerns, without uh, stones. Look how no beautiful this tree is. It's, it's gorgeous. We don't see this in Israel very it's often, what, the what four is leaves. What is that tree? Ah. That's a persimmon. Yeah. 
Yeah. Wow. Well translated, no. I, there, I know a few words. There's yeah. a there's a beautiful persimmon tree. I didn't realize they That's changed so colors. Pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Do you get a lot of fruit on this? Uh, this is not so many. Yeah. But they are a sweet one, which is uh, not uh, getting the uh, mouse. Uh, you know, this is a good one. Well, they're all sweet if you wait for them to ripen. Oh. I've never had one that wasn't no. sweet. Sometimes you have really to wait yeah. and to fight with the birds. Yeah. <laughs> they like right. it also. Right. That's gorgeous. Yeah. And there is a, a happy looking papaya. It's like you cut it and it Yeah, it was not happy in the beginning because right. it is in a... Ah, right. It's got a limited uh, amount of space. It's in a growing in a pot. So it probably won't get too much bigger. I don't know even if it's a male or a female, but I don't care anymore about my papaya. You can tell you if it's a male or a female. Why not? I'll call some okay. Oh, papaya is one of my favorites. She says to me, she says to me, everything here is, I was going to walk. Is edible. Everything's edible, yes. Rock it. Okay. I wanted to tell you if it was male or female. To me, it's a female plant, this this. And how do you tell, Debbie? Because um, Debbie's a papaya expert right mm, here. I am. <laughs> Can you see those little points coming up at the joint? You see that, that where the joint? Yes. So there's a little point Absolutely. there. Right. That's a flower. Absolutely. That's okay. how the female flower looks, whereas the male flowers come out in sort of differently. <laughs> okay. So I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this. It's probably yeah. too hard to see. Sure. So what have we here, Seema? This is in a canistal. Canistel, ah, ah. So. Um, well, no, because of the change of the weather, they are all confused. Sometimes <laughs> they give plenty of fruit, and then there is coming a very, very hot day, right. and all the flowers are falling, and right. there is nothing. Yeah. And the same happened with my pecan, with all kinds of traces that are uh, confused. Right. And nobody, like one that is working the earth and having a garden, can feel the climate change. Right. We feel it. Right. And we don't discuss it anymore. Right. And we know that we have to do everything to hmm. that the, our children and grandchildren will stay here in the world. Yeah. Yeah. And this on the right here, Seema? Is this Jaboticaba? Jaboticaba. Uh-huh. Jaboticaba. This is uh, Amazon tree grape. Does this fruit? Do you get fruit on this? Not yet, no. but uh, this is his character. It's right, so this, this is an Amazon tree grape. If you haven't seen these before, the, the, they make a little black fruit that uh, grows right on the trunk. Exactly. Yep, but no fruit yet. So how old is this? Five years. Five years old. Yeah, okay. maybe next year we will get So hopefully sometime soon. They take, the they take a while. Depends on the weather. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Looks happy though. Correct. It looks like it's happy. The tree looks happy there. Yeah, I do. <laughs> the common language with trees. Yeah. This is a lang lang. This is a very good uh, uh, smell in the night. You lang ah, lang, yeah. The, in the spring. Right. Yes, I know you lang lang. I do. I do. We we uh, this this is I think native. Well, I'm not sure if it's actually native to Central America, but we have them in yeah. in uh, Costa Rica and Panama. It's a white flower. It's a white flower. It's actually it's almost green. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's very hard to see because it doesn't really look much like a flower. It's, it's, it looks almost like a leaf, but it has an amazing, per and it's a night blooming flower, so it only puts perfume out at night. Yes. Um, I have three perfume uh, trees. I cannot call it a tree. It's uh, a bush. It's more like a big shrub. Yeah. Shrub. Do, you, do you know Chanel number no. five? This made from this. That's, you, really? This is, that, the, like, this is the base that? note for Chanel number no. five, is Ylang Ylang. So and and I'm sleeping here straight away, so I can Where? smell it in the night. What this window is. Ah, okay. <laughs> I thought you meant here on the tree. <laughs> you know, Sometimes. I have, I have friends. Every <laughs> once in a while. Yeah. It's healthy. That's what keeps you young. It's healthy. Sleeping in the trees. It's healthy to there sleep There you go. Outside. See? So you've just learned something, folks. If you want to be 85, you need to sleep in the trees. <laughs> 85 and still looking after uh, your own uh, jungle. 80 to 85 and doing all of her own gardening, creating all of this amazing paradise. This we see. Is this, is, this, this is a wonderful mango. This is a very happy mango. Amazing, amazing tree. That looks a beautiful he's, mango tree here. And he's giving so much fruit that I can feed all the neighborhood. Yeah. I may have to move Including here. Including me. Beautiful.
What kind? What kind of mango is it? Hayden. Hayden. Hayden mango. Hayden. Okay. Very nice. Beautiful. I call it Eden because Eden is paradise. Right. It's amazing. <laughs> so big, so I, I never looked at it before. It's so enormous. Well, you know, mango trees can actually become quite a bit larger. Really? Yeah. 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 They can, they can be 15 meters high and 15 meters across. The problem is picking the mangoes. No, yeah. they come to me. They well, come down? Yeah. yeah, although then they get beat up down, a little bit. Down, I can take them down. And it depends on the weather, if the fly is visiting. Because flies also come when it's not raining. <laughs> kind of. They need also their weather, the, the Mediterranean fly. Right, mm. right. Are less this year. I've got a lot of my oranges. Ah, they all this, went is the to small, you. this is the small mango, right? The little one of yours. No, uh, some are small and some are big. Yeah, very, very, very sweet. Delicious. No. Yeah. Very good. And over here? And this is another canistel. Another canistel. It was not grafted, but it gives a uh, very uh, look at you. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. In Hebrew? Ta'im. Ah, tasty. Ta'im. Yeah. Ta'im. And if, if you're not familiar with canistel, canistel is also called egg fruit. It's in the sapote family. And it is amazing. Yeah. Very sweet. Delicious, delicious yeah. fruit. This, it's because of canistel that I'm going to be moving. Debbie doesn't know this yet, but I'm going to be moving to Debbie's house. <laughs> in at, February. At least, at least for yeah. the canistel yeah. season. <laughs> yeah, I'll be back. I've got a lot on my tree. They'll Quite be ready, a few. I hope, in February. Yeah, yeah beautiful. Wonderful. Wonderful. And yeah. here, what are we here? This is Carambula. Carambula. Ah, ah, of course it is. Of course it is. Star, star fruit. fruit, right. So you can see little tiny fruits here. But he's confused. It's confused. Debbie, because he had already just had his fruit, and all of a sudden he gives again. Well, I don't, I don't know if it's maybe it's different here, but in Costa Rica we have star fruit all year long. Oh. They keep oh. cycling through the entire so year. So the weather is now like in yeah. Costa Rica. You know? Right. Mm -hmm. That's that's just a new crop. Mm -hmm. Looks like you've got quite a few coming. Yeah. You know, it's and this this is an interesting tree because unless you look closely, yeah. they look like leaves. That's right. Yes. They, they're right. almost camouflaged. They're cam yes. And that's, that's the point. Is it? Yeah, because the tree wants to make sure the fruit doesn't get eaten until they're actually right, ripe when right, the seeds are right, viable. Right, right. <laughs> Wonderful. That's amazing. So you can see if you look closely, there's a fruit, but it, from a distance, it just they it's look like, looks like leaf. leaves. Absolutely. Yeah, there's yeah. quite a few small fruits here. Yeah, I think that this is the best system. system. Yeah. Biodynamic garden. Uh huh. No, to clean. Biodynamic gardening. So tell us about what, how you don't all clean anything. Have all the animals that you want. Right. And the animals and the enemies and the enemies of the enemies. Right. And that's how it works. I leave all the leaves that are falling. Uh huh. I leave them, so now you cannot see it because of uh, this hamtsitz uh, coat. I don't know how to call it. That are uh, taking over everything. But even you can see leaves some kind of places. This is hamtsitz. I don't know how you said that in English. Hamtsitz, and the because it is sour. Mm. You can taste it one moment. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Children like it very much. Oh, yeah? Yes. Mm. I can't imagine why. <laughs> it doesn't taste very good to me. Uh, they like it. See, but this is a mango that you grafted, right? Yes. That's also a beautiful tree. Yeah. It was a... Uh, Compact. Makes it easy to, to pick. This is a late mango. This is an earlier mango. This is a late mango. This is a later one. This so you... you grafted it, Seema? Yes. Tried a few times. Looks like there's uh, two graphs. We tried a few times. It was not easy, but yeah. this side succeeded. It's amazing, yeah. Um, and the other side, does it fruit as well? Yes, everywhere. Again, again. Are they the same? Is it the same mango, or do you have two different varieties? No, this is an early one, smaller, right. and these are the big ones. Right, Can't, right. But here, here I see, Can't. here I see two different graphs. No, it was one time a different tree. Right. And then we grafted on him. So, so both of the grafts succeeded, yeah, in other words? Yeah, is grafted, yes. Wow, the whole thing is from a graft. Yeah. So you can, you can see, if, you're, if not from with grafting trees, the idea is you take rootstock from the same family, and then you take a branch from a tree that's already fruiting, and you basically 
put one on top of the other where you, where you cut them. You wrap them with like plastic wrap to hold it together. Mm -hmm. And they, they grow together. And you can usually tell because of the, the knots. You can see here how this, this comes up and then all of a sudden there's this, this change. You can see the same thing here. So those, those are both grafts. Yeah. And the entire thing now fruits. Mm -hmm. Amazing. You have, you have a beautiful compact tree, easier to pick. My uh, husband is not working much in the garden. He has uh, different hobbies. He's now in the tennis. Yeah. And he's playing piano. But uh, he grafted he did it. The graft, didn't okay. He? He's so proud, proud, of proud of it. Yes. Wow. And this is why you keep him around, obviously, because he knows how to graft <laughs> fruit trees. That's a, it's very smart. <laughs> No, because he promised to take it all out and to make it in a tennis uh, court. But uh, <laughs> slowly, slowly he likes the food. Okay, good. Is that the um, uh, Japanese? Uh, oh, it's an apricot. The ja so the tall, the tall piece in there is a Japanese apricot. Mm -hmm. Apricot is the original one, the yellow one. Ah. The very mm. delicious. With, uh, with, uh, you can eat also the stones. Stones that may not be such stones. a good idea. No. That I don't think so. No. No, they're most, sweet. Well, but most but most fruit stones are actually toxic because they the whole the tree wants you to get the seed into the ground. Yeah. And so the seeds are usually toxic. I don't know about that particular one, but looks like you've got some lots of nasturtiums here. Do you eat these? Yes. They're edible flowers. Yeah, some you of them. Well, some of them I cannot eat any seeds. Too much. And this? <laughs> What's this? Pomegranate. Pomegranate. Ah, beautiful. See, so this one I don't know because our pomegranates, the, the leaf cutter ants, keep killing them. Um, we planted five, none of them survived. Really? The, the ants take all the leaves off the trees and the trees die. The ants? Wow. Leaf cutter ants. They wow. take the, they take ah, the leaves. So, yeah. if you've wondered what a pomegranate tree looks like, here you go. Again, it's almost like a shrub. Oh, there's, look, there's, there's the remnants. Yeah. That's one the birds got, I guess. Yeah. It's just finished the season, hasn't it? Yeah, so, yeah it's yeah. finished long ago because yeah. the birds, I live up there for the birds. Right. So the season's now over. Yeah. How long does that season last? Oh, look, there's a there's a uh, canistel on the tree over there. No, this is not no? a canistel. What is that? No? Cinnamon apple. Cinnamon apple? Yeah. I'm not familiar with that. Cinnamon. What? He tastes a little like canistel. It looks just like canistel. So it must, it must also be in the sapote mm -hmm. family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, does it taste like cinnamon? A uh, little. Huh? You have to use your imagination. Do you, do you have Do you have any seeds? <laughs> I'd be happy to take seeds back to Costa no, Rica. But uh, if you're a customs will, official and you just heard that, I was just seeds. kidding. <laughs> just kidding. We will arrange seeds. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, look what I see. Wait, wait, wait. That's a pecan? That's a pecan. Inside. That's enormous. Inside. Yeah. So if you've never seen pecans growing, there's the outside of the pecan. Can, that, can we open it, Seema, that one? To get a sense of how big that is. I've got small hands, but that's a big nut. No, it's not so big. No, but I, the, the outside, the, the, the case is large. This is ready to pick. It's open. Let's see. Oh, look at that. But they are big. Her, her, her pecans those are, are amazing. A lot of amazing. the pecans I've seen yeah, are half that size. Well, yeah. the ones that I, I forage are half yeah. the size. Yeah, exactly. Same as if fantastic. Tr yeah, this no, tree is very I'm happy not here. Not here. Yes, look at no, this beautiful tree. So this is the pecan tree. It's beautiful. That's, it's a beautiful tree. Amazing. Now, the trouble is that it's too big for the tree and uh, the branches are breaking. When they are full with they're, food. When they're loaded, it's just too loaded much. And they yeah. are very, very heavy. And uh, last year, exactly, we had uh, one big branch that was broken. I can see right here, there's one that came off. Yes. Is that it? And we were cutting him. Yeah. And, uh, and I always pray that he will not uh, break one day all over my garden. Right. <laughs> now, I see, I see some more, but it looks like this is maybe toward the end of the season this year. Yeah. No, it's confused. It's confused as well. <laughs> okay. Find his keepers. I think so. That seems fair. Mm -hmm. So there's there's a couple more here. So, so correct. There's more here. Yeah, the birds have got to them there, mate. Yeah, the birds. 
It's not ready yet. Now, how do you tell, Sima? It has to, to has a crack. Has to be cracked. It's okay. Sima, this feels like there's nothing in it. This, this, this too. So when you say crack, now this I see lines here. Is that is that, does that qualify? And this is a bird was trying it. The birds are eating it also. Right. No, it's small. It's not. Not I mean, ready. It will also never be anymore. It's enormous, that tree. Yeah. Yes, I have a three guyava on this tree. Okay. Would you like me to take this off for you? So this this is a, the typical way of protecting the guayabas, what we call guava in English, from the um, insects that lay their eggs in them. They like them very much. Yeah, it's hard. We we grow them. But it's very hard to pick them because we I can't. We don't have time to put bags on all the fruit. What about a net? A lot of this tree, you see, that is a very hard trimmed. Yeah. Because he right. was uh, kind of uh, dying. Right. Yeah. And I gave him still a chance. Cut and, it down. Uh, and it seems like right. it's doing fine. Yeah. And I gave him lots of water in the very hot summer. Yeah. Right. Which is near and uh, actually a sin. To give lots of water. So this is this is called a hard pruning because mm. you've taken most of the branches no, off. No, it's very old. It's already yeah. 50 years old. We can see from the, the thickness. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. Did, did I just hear a 85 year old say that 50 is very old? <laughs> <laughs> for for uh, Guyava, <laughs> he's behaving like this. Hmm. You see, we had What's a that? hole and we pulled it out. You fill it with a little cement. Cement. Why? We try it because it's not the rain is coming in and it oh, makes really? it rot. Ah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I hadn't seen that technique before. Have plenty of rain in Costa Rica. We get plenty of rain. We get about 500 centimeters per year where I live. Wow. Yeah. This is plenty. That's plenty. Wow. There's more pecans there. This is the same tree. Right. I'm just oh, I'm just showing the mm -hmm. the fruit here. I have on the table open ones. You can try to eat them. They are very, very tasty. They're fantastic. I have three kinds of uh, citrus. Oh, uh, citrus. Three kinds of citrus three kinds. here. Okay, wow. Oh, they look great. They look fantastic. Yeah. And they, they look like they're ready to pick. Yeah. And uh, they are picked every morning for Jan to be eaten after the tennis. I see. Uh -huh. And we will okay. taste, we will taste here also. Beautiful. So beautiful navel oranges there. You can see spectacular, large, beautiful. Right. And, and how about this? So what variety is this one? You have to ask my husband. Okay. I love this. This is a Fransawi orange, and it's um, what's the word? Non-acidic, non. -acidic, non -ac how do you say non-acidic? It's sweet, 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 sweet. This is sweet. Exalted. It's a very unusual. I, I've never even heard of this. It's amazing. No, we will eat. You've got? Okay. De Debbie, maybe you can uh, leave me here and come back and pick me up in four or five hours. <laughs> I'll just I'll just stand around and eat the tree the oranges well, off the tree. A really really orange one. Pick it and we'll try. And we'll okay. Because it's a bit early, but. Uh, well, they they look they look like they're very close to being ready. Ah, this is the jojoba apple, the Chinese apple. Jojoba. Jojoba. Yeah, you know I don't that know one. That. No, no uh, not by that Chinese name anyway. Chinese apple. Chinese apple. Mm, no. I've got them as well. They're um small apple texture they're kind of yellow and orange yellow and tan color you huh. don't know them delicious i don't like think so apples. really wow interesting so i'm fascinated by this oh, okay. no i love this fransawi orange because uh, when i had digestive problems this was the only orange i that i could uh, tolerate really the yeah. rest of the uh, the acid was too much for you. It seemed to be. It seemed to be a bit hard. To Plenty digest. people are allergic to citrus. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah non-acidic. Non very sweet. Some people don't like it because it's not got that. I love it. 
Um, now it's I interesting. Can see a nice one there. Which one are you looking at? Yeah. Right here. Yeah. 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 That's good. Shall I try yeah. that one? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we have one. <laughs> we have a specimen. Yeah. Ah, this is the um, Japanese Japanese raisin. raisin. Japanese raisin. You don't know that. <laughs> Japanese raisin tree. It's not so, Japanese and it's not a raisin. So it was a Japanese grape tree, but you dehydrated it. <laughs> Is that it? These are, these are past it now. Seem all right. They won't taste good now. Japanese raisins. So. When they're when they're good, they're so good. So I'm not sure if you if you heard Simo, but it's not Japanese and it's not actually a raisin, but it's <laughs> what they call it a Japanese raisin. That's how they call it. You have to take off. You've the got seed. it on the table. This is seed. You can take the seed. It's okay. In Costa Rica. Ah, I'll yeah. Give you a seed. I have. Okay, I mean, you can't make a meal out of it, but it's very special. It's okay. a delicacy. Interesting. Yeah. It's something I've never heard of. You, yeah. you have to have meditation when you eat it, very slowly. Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, that's always the best way, isn't it? To eat very slowly. The best. Yeah. yeah slowly. This is the. I'm guessing that while you're sleeping in the trees, you're eating slowly. <laughs> Another secret to longevity. Oh, look, I'm jealous now. This is the black sapota. Ah. She's got some under there. Yeah. Cleverly so camouflaged nice. because they're green. Yes. So they're black sapotes, but no one knows because they're actually green. Yeah. <laughs> no, they get blackish towards yeah. the ripeness. Right. But they're built like it. So that yes, and I can see you've got like a net. It. You've Everybody got a net to cover it. to keep them protected. Yeah. Look, and she's got quite a few. I see quite a few, but yeah. it looks like they're it looks like they're quite still quite a ways off from being ready. Yeah. What, another month? Yes. Yeah. Something like this. What kind of fig is this? This is a very good fig. I took it and tried to uh, graft it on mine, but it didn't work. Didn't work? Mm -hmm. okay. Grafting is kind of 50 50. So. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's not easy to do well. Yeah, I'm so excited. So mm -hmm. I get to get the what Sima doesn't. Ah, the side. beautiful. No, I cannot eat so much, so mm -hmm. that be helps me. Right. <laughs> no, you have a lot of fruit here for two people. <laughs> yeah. Yes. This is also a uh, pomegranate. Another oh, pomegranate. A bigger one. A larger variety. A yeah. Darker one. Mm-hmm. More healthy one. Now, how old, how old is this? No, he is young. It's young. Yeah, he is still young. A few years. Yeah. 84. Four or five years. Four or five years old. Okay. So uh, these, they don't get very large, though, do they? This is almost like a shrub as well. They get quite big. They do. Okay. What are you growing here on the fence, Seema? I, I used to know the name, but I don't know anymore. Just a flowering vine? Beautiful. Beautiful. I can see the little pink flowers there. Yeah. They probably they like to climb also on the olive on the trees. Uh, I have to cut it oh, I can see you have yes, quite a bit on the yes, olive tree right now. Yes. So there's a there's a beautiful olive tree. Yeah. <laughs> but it's uh, covered with this flowering vine. I will make him all short. I will cut him all here together. Yeah. And, uh, the, the, the so what like. what kind of olive is this? The koal. I don't know that. What is is that a black olive? This is something special for yourself. And do you do you eat them off the tree? Sometimes. Sometimes. Because the olives I've tried have all been pretty bitter. I was putting a tree in order to get them ripe on the tree. Uh huh. When they are ripe, mm, they are delicious. They're really good. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. But uh, I seldom come to it because the flies are very really quick. Very quick. This very apparently nice. is where you keep your prisoners. <laughs> <laughs> No, I wanted to climb the old kind of climbing trees. I see. Passiflora. And look, yes, beautiful, right, passion fruit. Wow. <laughs> look at that. Seema is giving fruit in the summer? Hmm? Giving fruit? It was funny, you see. Well, you, look, you've got some fruits on this one over this here. Is the Coming. That's no, a different yeah, variety. Yeah, yeah, lots of fruit. Lots of fruit. Look at that. Yes. I was I was in uh, Argentina and Chile, 
uh, this past uh, February and March, and we ate a lot of the fruits. The fruits? Delicious, the fruit, yeah. But you can also eat the leaves. Yeah, yeah. I didn't try any of the leaves. They're slimy. They're slimy. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't really like slimy leaves. <laughs> but, the, but the fruit was delicious. Yeah. Very nice. But if you have to be I didn't see you from this side. Right. Only a few. Right. And then I thought, hey, what happened? Why is not living food? And then what happened? I went to the other side by mistake. And, and it was, was all over there. <laughs> and I had to quickly finish it because they were almost overripe. Yeah. This is They're delicious, a aren't they? This, this is, is a my support. first supporter. Uh -huh. Grafted. This is a not grafted. And this is grafted. Okay. And what variety of support is this? Don't know. Are they are they large or are they small? The medium. The medium, okay. And what color is the fruit inside? White. White inside. Off white. Okay. Because our the most of the sapotes we have are, are orange. Oh. The meme sapote. That's the most common. Orange is more little. No Look at all of the fruits on this cactus. Long, they're a long way off, but they're coming. Uh -huh. You're gonna have a lot of fruit here. Yeah. What do we have here? Uh, this is for, uh, for uh, we have also a nice tree. It's not food. Not you a fruit tree. Eat the flowers. Uh -huh. I'm not eating the flowers. Right. They're also a medicine. And Seema, how about this one? There's a beautiful tree that you've pruned heavily here. What is yes, that? Yes, it came from the other side, the guava. Oh, okay, of course. <laughs> Stone seal. Yeah. This one we put in the forest, which means the most beautiful tree in the, in the nature. Hmm. And in the Purim, it's covered with beautiful flowers. Ah. And then you can eat the flowers. Mm -hmm. Very sweet flowers. Yeah, that's it. That's it. This is the uh, we call it. I don't recognize the, the tree. A, a very small uh, berry. Black, a little berry. Okay. Black berry. Are they round or are they round, long like round, the Pakistani? Round black, They're round. Round okay. black mm. berry. Very small. It's not a blackberry. It is not a blackberry, but it, is, it looks like a small berry. Looks a bit berry. like a blackberry. And are they, is it a similar flavor? Uh -huh. It's sweet. Sweet, yeah. I don't know. Okay. They say it's good ah. against cancer. We have a uh, kumquat over here. Yeah. Let's see the little tiny orange fruits. Yeah. Most you eat those? Them, most of them are already falling. There's still quite a few. And I have to take them off. Do you eat them, are, are sour, to right? also. They are quite sour, aren't they? Do you eat them, the kumquats? You can put a uh, nachis. This, uh, you know what nachis is? Yeah. The kind of a uh, tavlin. Oh. Ciporin. Spice. Ciporin. Ah, yeah. Ciporin. Um, 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 how do you say that in English? Cloves. Cloves. Yeah. Uh -huh. You stuck in them right. and you pour hot water and you drink it. Make it a tea. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's how you use them. In the winter it's good. <laughs> but you can also eat it. It's, uh, it's a little uh, Yeah. Uh, I don't like it. No. It's too sour. Well, you know, citrus citrus peels all have a slightly toxic oil in them. Right. And you eat the whole thing. Right. So you're actually eating that toxic oil. Yeah, yeah. Probably wouldn't want to eat very many of those. Mm. Yeah. The toxic. Yeah. What is this, Seema? Well, is this a fruit tree? Uh, my, this is a mandel, I would say a mandel. I talk Dutch because I'm more... Dutch uh, and uh, almond. Almond? This yes. is an almond. It doesn't look like an almond. It doesn't look like it an almond. It is an almond, but what happened one time, I had a big almond, and he died. Right. And he, he gave uh, babies from his roots. And this is one of them. Interesting. Yeah. Um, we have almonds, but they have a different leaf. Must be a different variety. No, 
is completely confused. He has to give flowers in the spring, right? But he gave already flowers. We had a very hot autumn, didn't we? Oh, a long okay. autumn and hot autumn, and he thought already it's spring, and then he gave flowers. Okay, Sima, I, I have to ask you a question. Not it seems that most of your trees are confused. <laughs> you don't think maybe you have something to do with that? <laughs> no, the climate change. Okay, okay. So, so <laughs> she's disavowing any responsibility. It's just <laughs> climate change. <laughs> but, it's not that she's been a bad mother. Right. It's not, it's not her fault. <laughs> this is proving to you. Some people are still discussing it. If there isn't climate change or right. not. Right. There is. And it is accelerating. Right. And we have there to is. take care. So where we have a couple of kumquats. You want to taste? Sure, I'll I'll brave the one. Big one. The big one. The big one? Okay. Because it's sweet outside right. and sour inside. Oh, really? So don't be uh, confused to spit it out. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. I'm gonna try the kumquat. I haven't eaten kumquats in a long time. <laughs> Um, this is a fruit, if you're not familiar with these, this is a fruit where you eat the entire thing, peel and all. Mm. And... Mm. Mm, delicious! <laughs> Can I get a hundred more of those, please? <laughs> you're very okay. brave, Lauren. Well, why not? <laughs> Okay, you only live three or four hundred times. <laughs> this is a Grande Canyon Berry. Oh, yeah, Rio Grande Berry. Rio Grande Rio Berry. Grande yeah. I don't know it. It's like a cherry, because cherries don't grow so well here in this part of Israel. Uh -huh. Only in the north where it's cold down. So this is like an alternative. Secateur. This looks a bit like a Suriname yeah. cherry. Mm -hmm. Looks a bit like a Suriname cherry. Maybe it is. Maybe that's what it's, you call it. It has. Um, it's not, not round. Plant. It has. It's like serrated on the edge, yeah. right? That's yeah. We have these as well. This is a Suriname cherry. Very nice. Again, it's they're very compact. Is that because you prune it, or does it just grow that way? Because ours are taller. Looks very happy. <laughs> But uh, this year I didn't give it flowers. Maybe we still get in the spring. I don't know. Look what I found. What did you find? Another ah, Wow! <laughs> Here I have this uh, to cover him because he is already. The flies were visiting him already. Yeah, it looks like there's some holes in there. The flies were already visiting. You see these little tiny holes? The flies yeah. have come, they've laid their eggs inside. Yeah, the larva hatch and there's got these little worms in there. Anyway, stocks. Very soon. This is a moringa. Yes, there's a moringa. If you're wondering, you've heard about moringa, all the benefits of moringa. That's a little tiny moringa tree. They get to be large trees. I was putting them last year. You know, eventually that's going to take up all the space. They, they're big trees. No, I'm really? them. They're going to take it out. Yeah. Trimming. Right. Cutting okay, just, just keeping it pruned. Yeah. Got it. This is another macadamia, I think. No, yeah, this is another kind. Ah, yeah, beautiful. And again, very happy. No, they're growing higher because they don't have enough sun. Uh -huh. They're struggling for sun. Here you have some fruit hanging there. Yes, there's some macadamias. This is a secondary to this one. There is white flowers and there is another color flowers. And, and this? This we talk about it. It's a cinnamon apple. Here oh, this is the cinnamon apple. apple. Okay, there and it is. There is a very good big supporter. So again, looks is looks quite a bit. And supporter. It has so many little babies. Yeah. Lots of little it's fruit. Full of it. Wow, fantastic. I'll cover it. And so, when what's the season? When is that kind of fruit? You have to ask the weather. <laughs> I don't know what will happen this year. You know, but I've asked anyway, the weather, I'm but the weather. Cover it. Supporter, I understand. There is no season. It gives. Through the year, my friend has them at the moment. Whenever it feels like it. Yeah. And look what I see back there. You've got mangoes back there. This. Well, where? Yep. No. No? What is that? Lemons. It's a lemon tree. It's a lemon. Those are lemons. Wow. Behind. Oh my gosh, the, uh, they're lemons. giant, and they they don't they're they're uh, some lemon of them look trees. like they're almost red. No, <laughs> there is not the season of the mango now. This is a tamarindi. Up there. Uh huh. We gave lots of flowers and I cannot see any fruit. Yeah, that's tamarind up there. 
a tall tree. And I think I hear a woodpecker. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love my garden. Ah, oh, that's the woodpecker. I thought it was someone working with a hammer. No, I think it's a woodpecker. There is a woodpecker and there is also Raven. Many birds are already, how you say, extinct. Many birds that I used to have here were extinct. The, the, they actually went extinct, the species. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow, how sad. I don't see them anymore. Well, I, I don't want to depress you on your birthday, but there are scientists saying that in 40 years, all wild animals are going they to be extinct. They don't depress me, I know it. But some people yeah. just... They yeah. Well, I think most people can't handle it. No. This is a uh, peanut butter. Uh, peanut butter fruit. Yeah. Where am I? Mm -hmm. We've got these as yeah. well. Now the the season's over recently, right? Yeah. Just just passed. My so no more peanut butter here. My father is my husband is feeding birds. Mm -hmm. So on the way they eat also everything from the street. Ah. They are variating the right. Animals. So you've shown us many things here. Do you, do you know how many different varieties you have on site? Varieties? How many different kinds of fruit and nuts do you have here? What I have in the varieties is the mango. No, no, but, no, but in all, how in many, all, how many different, different, different types of fruit? Oh, who counts? You once told me a hundred. <laughs> Something like this, yeah. When I cannot fall asleep, I start to count the trees. <laughs> <laughs> But then I cannot end because then I fall already asleep. <laughs> All yeah. right. So so here we have a 40 plus year old uh, fruit paradise mm. by this young gardener yes, right here. And it's a bit like a jungle here. It is a jungle, and you have to be careful. Only Lots I of different know things. how to walk around. It's bursting it. with big babies over there. Yeah. Mm. You didn't see Simra. I never saw so much uh, action in the white sapote. Let's go see the white sapote. Ah, no, these are the flowers. Flowers. Oh, and you know, you know what the wood, flowers. I see the woodpecker. Do you want to see the woodpecker? Flowers. You want to see the woodpecker? Yeah, where? Right here. Ah. <laughs> no, but it's not a wizard for me. Okay, so these are flowers, flowers, but a good number of them are going to become yeah, fruit. Yeah, yeah. I have uh, to, some, sometimes quite a few fall off. I will cover it. Hmm. Because it's short enough to be covered. Okay. So it's flowers, I wasn't sure whether it was flowers or whether they'd already started becoming fruits. Yeah. And look at these limes, uh, lemons over here. Yeah, they're huge. They're enormous, and I've never seen lemons that color before. <laughs> it's true, they're almost pink. Yeah. Maybe, maybe this is how they make pink lemonade. We passed by this one. What is this? It's a little tiny lemon. lemon yeah. yeah, wow, I've never seen a lemon. That's what you got the biggest lemon I've ever seen and the smallest lemon I've ever seen. <laughs> guyava berry, like a minute, miniature guyava. And I see lots of dried fruit on the tree. Yeah. And we didn't pick them. <laughs> right. So here's what it looks like once it's uh, dried and, and um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I mean, it's hard and dry, mm. no longer. It's very delicious, actually. I love it. I wonder, you know what, maybe I'll mm. take some seeds. Mm -hmm. We'll take a few of these back and see well, if we can plant them. Sure. This is a variety I don't think I've seen before. So you've had many varieties here. At least a dozen fruits I've never seen before. Really? Yeah. yeah. Including this. So this is that little tiny lemon to give you a sense of how small that is yeah. right look how big that is oh, tomorrow is i'll pick it up for my girlfriend that is putting the making it from its sour things mm -hmm. she's putting it with, uh, with salt <laughs> the fajoya here so looks like this is pretty much done i am every day i'm collecting them from the ground 
Yeah. Yesterday I didn't, so look what happened. Right. But I don't I don't see very many more no, on the I'm on the tree. I'm happy that you don't see any more. Because I'm really already two weeks I'm collecting. Yeah. Is there more? Or have we seen most of it now? There in the end let's not go. Let's okay. go to eat some fruit. Okay. We'll go eat some fruit. Yeah, even better. So here we have a pomelit. This is yes, um, a sweetie grapefruit. It's in the pomelo grapefruit family. We have a, a guava, guayaba here in, in Hebrew and, and Spanish, guava in English. This is fijoya. This is a fruit from Brazil. This is the Japanese, Japanese raisin. raisin, which isn't Japanese nor raisin, <laughs> but there you have it. Here we have a... Um, Slightly beat up. From Sawi Orange. From Sawi Orange. Mm. Okay, there's a name I'm not familiar with. Uh, one of a couple of kinds of orange. We also have some beautiful navel oranges here. And this, I guess, is this also a pommelite? Yes. Okay, another pommelite. No, I didn't see any bananas growing here. No. That's not from here. from here. And here we have some nuts. <laughs> I see pecans, macadamias, Brazil nuts. I'm not sure if they're all from here. I didn't see the no, Brazil nuts. I, I don't think she has Brazil nuts. We, we in fact, I don't even know if they them. grow in Israel. Brazil nuts, it goes for Brazil. They don't grow in Israel, right? No. No. I wonder why they don't. I mm. think they would. Look at the size of her pecans, though. They're amazing. The pecans are, are enormous. They're beautiful. Can't mm. wait to try those. Mm -hmm. Have a seat. All right. I'm going to so, taste it to see if it's a good representative there. Debbie is peeling a French Sawi orange, which is an orange I've never even heard of before. Mm. It's a non-acidic orange, mm. very delicate flavor. Mm. And we're gonna we're gonna let Debbie try it, and if she doesn't die, I'll try a piece too. <laughs> now I'm testing it to see if it's a good representative for you, okay. because we built this up, and I don't, you know, it might it's a bit early for them, so it might yeah. not be ready. Might not be quite ready. I'll yeah. try it anyway. Yeah. But. Um, this is. Um, Mayas Monim Vachamesh. No, that's supposed to be an exclamation mark, but it. Uh, okay. Yeah, it looks okay. like 185. Okay. No, I'm yeah. Well, don't read it too carefully. Too yeah. close. Mm. So, how was it, Debbie? Um, Very lovely. It was good. Not the best French Sawi orange ever. Not the best ever. Okay. But it's good. All right, so I'm about to eat the second best French Sawi orange ever. Mm. There we go, we'll give this a try. Mm. It's good. Mm. It's good. This is from Saudi, yeah. This is from Saudi, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because he wasn't known for some school. It's good. I see what you mean. There's no acid whatsoever. No. Mm. Completely non acidic. It's sweet. I've never, I mean, it's not really that much sweeter, but there's just no acid. I doubt it has much more sugar. No. no. But it has no acid at all. No, no citric acid. No, no, it, literally no citric acid. No. <clears throat> Amazing. Fajoya. So Sima's cutting a fajoya open. This is a Brazilian fruit. Completely green when they're ripe on the outside. That's unusual. And they're mm. sweet and they're good inside, but yeah. I take off the part that uh, that uh, warms. Yeah, I prefer not to eat the worms. <laughs> because in the future, human beings will eat worms. Else to eat. <laughs> okay, I don't think I need to be around for that when that happens. We also not. Seema's Seem, uh, just protect, predicted we're going to get to the point where there won't be any more fruit, it'll just be worms. <laughs> and I think I'll be done by then. So now I've got a question, Seema. You're 50 years raw vegan and? More or less. Raw, raw vegan as well? No, he's no. a no. Dutchman. Dutchman? No, I don't. No. <laughs> so we have a raw vegan no. and a Dutchman. You have to be honest with me. Don't, don't. Yeah, he is raw till noon. He's raw till he eats something cooked. No, <laughs> no, cooked no I'm not eating cooking. cheese. Cheese. The Dutch cheese. Bread. Dutch cheese. Okay, no, I won't tell anyone. Well, we just told everyone. No, but, but other than everyone, we're not going to tell but, anyone. But uh, <laughs> I don't eat meat at all. Only fish sometimes. Okay. Once or twice a month, not no more. All right. For the rest, uh, no milk, no other milk products. Mm. Good, Sima, thank you. Yeah, delicious. And I, uh, I 
like to do sport to see you can do tennis. Right. So your girlfriend just turned 85. How old are you? Mm -hmm. Do you mind saying? My girlfriend? Yeah. It's my wife. Yes, of course. <laughs> I happen to be married to her. You've been living in sin for how long now? <laughs> Together? Yeah. 50, we're going to be 55 years. 55 no, years? 56 years. In, no, in, in, in November we were... 55. I put you on the spot, I apologize. Mm -hmm. I said I put you on the spot, now you have to no, remember okay. your anniversary. Mm -hmm. 55 in November. This morning, 8 of November. You are 55 years old. Very good photo. I didn't have but a good photo. I've seen Seema, thank you so much for sharing your birthday and your I'm beautiful happy time. To meet you. It's you're not meeting, we've met before. No, but uh, I will be when I'm 90. We don't we come to me. Okay, so, sounds good. Mm -hmm. I'll, so we'll see you. I'll be back before then, but we'll mm -hmm. see you. See you in Costa Rica in five years. Yeah. Your 90th birthday. Yeah. Yeah? All right, sounds good. All right, folks. Take care. Thank see you again soon.